Well, I've lived in this house for 16, 17 years now. Um, this is the, the office, the basement where I work. Uh, it's nicely secluded from the rest of the house. Um, it's a big room. I've had to fight to keep it because it would make a very good kitchen. Um, but I like the feeling of being cut off in a sort of underground lair. You can look up to the garden out there. Um, I work straight onto a computer, this old Mac, uh, which crashes about six times a day. Uh, I keep meaning to change it, but it's got the book that I'm working on now on it, so I'm going to wait till I've got a bit further on with that. Um, I'm not a great fetishist about having special objects, but there are one or two. This is a this is kind of a rather naff thing, is a William Shakespeare from the Huntington Library in California. Uh, you've got to have an, a model of inspiration or a model to aspire to. Who better than William? And um, you know, most of the time he shakes his head disapprovingly at what I do, but occasionally he nods. Um, top of his pile of books here is, a, is Othello, and I've got a copy of Othello on the desk because of what I'm working on at the moment, which is a book partly about revenge. Um, I mean, another object I have on my desk is my father's pacemaker. Um, I've got a lot of objects from childhood, both my parents are dead now. I suppose this is the most intimate one because it was actually you know, in my father's body before being cut out before the cremation. Um, I have that there and I have a little postcard pinned up here which is um, the muse inspiring the poet. Um, she's quite an ample looking muse um, but I like to think I can look to her and get a bit of inspiration occasionally. Um, I've got a few objects around me. Um, on the wall here some uh, some paintings that Paul Arego did. We, we worked together, she illustrated some poems of mine and we talked a lot about foxes, some, of the, some foxes that appear in these drawings and there are foxes that also appear out here in the garden. Um, sometimes they come right up to the door where I work, um, you know, press their noses against the glass almost and occasionally I want to invite them in and say look you take over, you'll do a better job than I'm doing. Um, and there's an object uh, or two in here as well. I have a photograph, the earliest photo I have of my mother, um, graduation photograph, um, just little bits and pieces. Uh, I have here a little mug with a poem of mine on it called Against Dieting that somebody created the mug. Um, and you know, photographs and little animals. And if these various objects fail to stimulate me, well, I can always have a bit of exercise, take myself across the room and get on this exercise bike. The good thing about exercise bikes is, well, you can read while I use them. And if that doesn't stimulate me, well, I don't know what will. <laughs>